Hey up everyone, it's the Osh Panda. Welcome to a bit of an unusual Direwolf 20 180 mod pack. Okay, so I know I cocked up with the episode 3940. The audio wasn't recording my mic. Computers, you've got to love them. Otherwise they drive you bloody mad. So, in order to make up for that, I did deep resonance of those two episodes. So I'm going to show you Deep Resonance right now, but in a bit of a, I wouldn't say crash course, but certainly a bit more concise um, manner than what I did in the general episode. The minimap makes my pattern look like it's off, but it isn't. Let me get rid of that. Right, so first things first. All of this resonating ore we've been finding all over the playthrough. This is the first thing that we're going to need before we can start on anything else. And all you do is you throw it into a smeltery and you will get resonating plates. These are the basis for almost everything in the mod first thing that you're going to need are resonating machine frames so you will need to spell quite a few of these thankfully you get eight from one ore so you do get quite a lot without burning up too much your resonating ore which is a good thing because we're going to need a lot more of this so once you've got these you then make yourself a resonating machine frame and the first thing you are going to want to make is a smeltery a smelter and a tank and you need a tank with a smelter on top and a tank above that right this needs power it's probably the only thing in the oh no there's only two things in here that need power this being one of them so get your pipes universal cables whatever you use and get some uh, power. Let's have a look. We have got a creative power source in here somewhere. Should have probably grabbed this before. Uh, I did it and I. Do you know what? That'll work. There we go. We've got power. Now, this takes resonating ore and it's powered with energy and lava. So you put lava in the tank below. However, you need to have a set amount in here. Now, once this is smelted up, it will have, as you see up here, some fluid in this top tank. So let's just grab some more resonating ore. And throw that in here. There we go. And you'll see it's got three stats. Quality, efficiency, purity and strength. So, you need to get these three stats as high as you can. This section deals with the purity and what you need to do is make sure that you've got as close to possible 6,000 lava in this tank if it drops below 6,000 or goes to above 6,000 it will start to lose quality so looks like 5,000 might be a good number actually let's see what the next one does yeah, so around 5,000 lava. How you do that is entirely up to you. You can always use a comparator. And redstone. Uh, fluid. No, flopper. Uh, 
Uh, but, 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 let's just put a block here. Actually, that should work, shouldn't it? He says confidently. Not sure if floppers work. But, yeah. You get your tank. Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. That one. Put lava in it. And then what you want to do is, with the comparator, when this hits 5,000, that gets the redstone signal. And then stops the flow of lava into here. Like I say, I'm... You can do it with fluid pipes. Because uh, pipes, which I'm going to have to go and find the mod... has these pipe upgrades that you can put on uh, da -da -da -da. let me get my wrench yeah. so not on that side so turn that off for a minute tank on top lava in it you're to export you put a pipe upgrade on there uh, on no off when powered no nope. yeah off when powered so if I do that what will happen is if I just break that for now and let's reorganize this so that it actually fits There we go. Grab another tank. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> In fact, that could probably do extending one more. Ah, too high. Yeah, you'll have to figure out how best to to do it. That's eight. That's gonna be two. Low. That's four. Uh, that will. If I extend it this way, that's eight. Yeah. That's four. You're gonna have to figure this out because, you, like I say, you want to keep that. Uh, I mean, 98% quality. That's pretty good, actually. So you could just do that little setup. That'll do. Powers the uh, pipe there. Stops the flow. That'll do. That, that'll do. That'll do. Right. There's a reason I put a specific number in here. Each one of these ores gives you 200 fluid. You need 6,000. So 30 ore gives you the exact amount of uh, fluid that we need. Now, once you've got your fluid in a tank, you are then going to need to increase the purity. Reason being, low purity crystals cause a lot of radiation, which can cause negative effects on you and the surrounding area. So, uh, what you can do, these tanks act as a multi-block. So if you spread the tanks around like that, you will have a wide area. You could also just put a pipe between these two. Uh, now, the thing is, if I was to break those two... Yeah, because well, I'm on creative, it doesn't quite work, but... This is why I've got a creative item here. So it puts this back up to 6,000. Yeah, it looks a bit of quality, but nah. Guess what I want. So same again. We'll just put a pipe, and then we need another tank. Uh, 
like that. Now what we need is a purifier. What this will do, if you put that there with a the tank underneath, it will pull the fluid from there. Just pump another. There we go. It will pump the fluid from there through the purifier into here and it'll increase that purity stat. Now in order to do that you need item filters. It's made from coal, gravel, sand or charcoal or coal coat. But, I mean charcoal you can easily farm as much as you want. You get eight per one and you are going to need a lot of these. So let's grab that, stick them into there and what will happen over time you'll see the fluid go here and you see now the purity has gone from 9.9 .9 to 34.9 and then what you can do is put another pipe up here now you see these poke things these are spent materials that get spat out afterwards to avoid these getting spat out you can slap a chest on the side of here and it'll spit them into the chest or as I like to do if you put a hopper there with more filter material it will spit the spent materials into there but because spent materials can't go back in it will just fill back up with the filter material and leave the spent material in there Nice bit of a cheaty way of doing it, but it works. So we're not bothered. Now, this is taking a bit of time, so. Uh, and it is. Time in a bottle, add time. That much. There we go. Time and bottles work on this. They also work on the smelter. So we can speed that up. We've got our fluid here. Now what we can do is if we pump that fluid back into the top tank, it will start to purify again. Now, if I just switch you off for a second, what will happen with this is if you get something of say 50 purity and add it to something that's 20 purity, they will level out and try to even between the two. So you might get 35 purity, 30 purity, whatever it is. What we're aiming for is to try and get that purity as high as possible. Now, obviously with the time of the bottle, you use up more materials a lot quicker. So just be aware of that. But from this, you can get a purity up I mean, you can get 80, 82, 83, but it's really slowing down now. 83.2 seems to be as high as it wants to go. <laughs> so, yeah. Go back into the top. So let's take out the filter materials for now, just so it stops doing what it's doing. 83.2, that seems to be as high as it went, but that's a good number to have. So what we want to do now is now that that's purified, we need to save it. Now what you can do is use one of these things. So valve. This valve, you can set certain stats. So we want the strength, we're not bothered about that because we're going to see to that later. Efficiency, not bothered, we'll see to that later. Max, 6,000 millibuckets, because that's exactly what we need. I want the purity to be at least 80. Apply, and that tank will pull out fluid that matches that criteria. So in this case, obviously, everything in here matches that criteria. So it fills up. We set the max to 6,000, so we've got exactly 6,000 in there. So let me put you over there. I put another tank here 
what's left of the fluid will go in. But uh, this is the cool part of how this works. Uh, actually, put them there because I'm going to need them again in a sec. Let me just get some more fluid. Uh, wrong button, late. It's still the wrong button. So if I pump all this in here, like so, you'll see it's not adding to this. So then if I go and put these materials back in here, um, let's get some more actually. I didn't actually pick them up, did I? There we go. And time in a bottle of this. You'll see the purity is going up. You know, it's 60. I mean, that's 85. We managed to get to 85. But now that we have got to 85, it's over 80. So the valve will start pumping the fluid out until it reaches 6,000. Yeah, and there we go. Now, at this point, you can throw this into a crystallizer, which does need power. So let's put you over here. Uh, Crystallizer. This block is what you use to create your own crystals. And by crystals, we do mean these things that we find all over the overworld. Now, every time you see one of these, you do want to mine it. I'll just show you the few in the overworld that we can find. So, as you're mining, you'll come across these. You'll see power, you know, strength 2.8, efficiency 0.5, purity 6.4, 10 RF per tick at 34%, 34.2% power remaining. I'll grab you, there's another one up here. This one says, if we can get safe. It's stronger, 2.2, 1.4 efficiency, 14 of purity, 50 RF per tick. Not a bad one, that one. Um, yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, 100 levels. There we go. That's not the right ring, is it? It's just the straight up end of it. Does that? No. Energetic hardened. No, wait, no, no. No, no. Is it just that? Oh, yeah, it's just that one. There we go. I mean, we're on peaceful, so it's not have to worry about mobs, but what we got here? Seven RF per tick, so not a very strong one, that one. Uh, let's grab one more, just for the road. Uh, oh, there you are. 39% purity. So you see all these different strengths, different purities, and they do change Everywhere. Oh, I mean, two more here. Let's have a look. Only 5% power, but 56 RF per tick. That is a nice one, actually. Right, let's get back to where we were. Right, so. We've got these six crystals here. And, uh, I'm just going to 
going to put so let's grab a couple of them I want the ones that's got very little power left so that's it that's a nine that's a five right so if we made a crystal now with this we would have a lot of purity but only 10% strength 10% efficiency uh, and again time to bottle this there we go <laughs> so you'll see there that 10% strength 10% efficiency 83% purity 1600 RF per tick. That's just with 10% strength and efficiency. So that is a nice little crystal. Let's just get rid of some of these because we don't need these. So we could start burning that one, especially with the high purity. But if we want to increase that strength and efficiency, we're going to need a few things first. So let's go and create a power generator. So you need a generator controller, you need a generator part, and you need a resonant uh, energy collector. Like so. One generator, one part, one collector. You will also need a lever or some redstone activation for this. And then you'll need to place a crystal. Now, let's put the two 5% down. This crystal can pull energy from two, this collector can pull energy from two crystals. So, I tend to give them a bit of space. So, when I switch this on. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Let's get rid of that one because I don't want to use that one. It does have some decent range on it, but you'll see it'll connect to these two crystals. You get that lovely sound, and you see we're generating energy. Now, I mentioned that the low purity causes radiation. So if you've got this item, radiation monitor. You can see that radiation going up, whereas over here, no radiation detected. To make this, you do need a few items, but if this radiation gets too high, so if I was to that survival, as it stands at the minute, no negative effect. If I was to increase the radiation around here by having more crystals, so if I were to put two more crystals here, uh, oh. and turn it on again, what you'll find, there are too many crystals for this size generator. To increase the size of the generator all you need to do is add more generator parts each generator part allows two additional crystals to be harvested so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight switch it on now get that problem though we are doing eight crystals Radiation through the roof. So if I was to go back to survival. Oh, we're okay for now. We're at 30,000. 35,000. 40,000. Just got a hunger to effect. 50,000. Oh, we're hovering around 50,000. But I've got hunger effect now. Whenever I'm near that radiation. Over here, it'll wear off. If I wanted to protect myself against all of that radiation, 
what I would need to do. Uh, that's my good one in it, so I'll keep that there. What you would need is this stuff, the radiation suit. Which is made from resonating plate. You can also use things like dense obsidian and dense glass, which is made from those spent filters. And that can help contain that radiation. But if we were to just put on the radiation gear, which is quite fetching, and go back to survival, despite the 90,000 radiation level, I am not getting any ill effects from it. Hundred and sixty thousand. Where if I take this off at a hundred and sixty thousand radiation, yikes! Oh, here we go. Weakness, hunger, slowness. Yeah. Also, if I was to get some uh, grass and place them around here. What will start to happen is this will turn into poison dirt. Uh, oh, I'm in creative mode and I've still got the effects. Wow. Put all the radiation gear on, the effects go away. But yeah, poison dirt can't be used for anything. No, apart from making facades, that's it, for integrated dynamics. So you you don't want all this radiation around things that are important. So you do, like I say, want to maybe house your stuff in some radiation resistant materials like that. Oh, they'll build a proper shelter like. Obviously, when we get to using this crystal, 1600 RF potato, we don't need a lot of generator patch, but we're only using one crystal. But, you'll see, as these crystals run out of energy, they will turn into these empty resonating crystals. So if I switch you off again. These white crystals now are completely spent of all their resources, their energy, or almost all their energy in this case. That is what we need. We need a lot of empty resonating crystals, so it is worth just finding a remote area and burning through all of the crystals that you do find, so you can get these empty ones. The reason for that is we're going to play with lasers. So. Lasers, I think, also need power, don't they? Yeah. If I was to put a laser there, so that'll get power. Uh, let's put my dense obsidian here. And we need one of you. So, the laser, which I didn't look at the crafting recipe for. Diamonds in a resonating frame. Uh, same with generator controller, resonating frame. Energy collector, resonating frame. Generator part resonating machine frame yeah like I say you're gonna need those machine frames for everything so we've got our laser let's take our tank over here and place it here in front of this laser so that's 99% quality fantastic 85% purity, that's okay. 10, 10 efficiency of strength. We want to get that up. So we need to put a lens on the tank across from a laser. And when you go to your laser and check your crafting recipes, these are all the things that you can do with a laser. So you will find a lot of dimensional shards, especially in the nether. 
1% purity up to a maximum of 100, 8% strength increase up to a maximum of 80, 8% efficiency up to a maximum of 80. Prismarine does up to a maximum of 30. You've got things like this that put everything down. Why do you want to do that? I don't know. Nether Stars reduces purity by 60%, but increases strength and efficiency by 90% up to 100. And then you've got things like diamonds, which just put up the purity. So, if we were to get something like a nether star, you pop it into here, you take one of these spent, these empty resonated crystals, place it into here to fill this bar up, and then you'll get yourself a lever. To switch it oh, come on, to switch it on and that laser will shoot at this and you can see the efficiency flying up and, sh and the strength that is skyrocketing and of course the uh, oh it's burnt up all my nether stars jeez that went through a few so yeah if you're going to do this you probably want to make yourself a uh, nether star farm and town of bottle works so look at that 99.99 let's take you now i could put diamonds in there to purify it again but that could take a while or what we could do and i'm going to go into survival for this um now okay that one if I was to break this, it just went in there. Uh, let's take all of you out. Let's get some more. Nope, wrong one. And then I need. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Nope, so it is. Deep resonance. Filter material. Let's make sure we've got a lot. There we go. And put that away. Right. If you were to break these tanks with a pickaxe rather than with a. Um, why have you gone down a six? Unless I've just lost. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, if you break it with a pickaxe, it will retain its inventory. And then you can just stick it here. And we've got extra resonance there. So, yeah, because of I've lost stuff. It's lost a bit of filling. So I got 6,000. Let's go. Just top it up. Yeah, I'm going to lose some of that strength and purity, but that strength and efficiency. We know we can get that back. But what I can do now is just purify the heck out of it till it gets to 85. Put a new tank underneath. Eighty-five percent. So this, 85, 87, 87, with 99% quality. This crystal could be an absolute beast. So let's take you, stick you underneath the crystallizer. Power you up. Boom. We got a new crystal. Now, if I was to just say, get rid of all these, don't need all these, get rid of all these. One crystal, slap it there, switch it on. What are we getting? 14,000 RF per tick. 
too powerful for this size generator. So what you need to do, you might need to increase the size of the generator, but still only have one collector. I mean, look at that. <laughs> 350 RF in a second and a half, maybe. <laughs> And of course, when I do switch it on, because of the uh, high purity, we're actually losing radiation because this is radiation left over from before. If I was to just make ourselves a new controller over here. So what you could do There we go. Two is enough. But because of how much power we're producing, let's grab a couple more. There we go. I mean if I turn this on, how much radiation we generated? About 28,000 for six for 15,000 RF per take. And from here, still getting the radiation. Oh, it's starting to go up a little bit. Oh no. It's higher here. And it's going down again. So we can actually reduce that radiation buildup. Uh, probably need to do underneath as well. Uh, whoops. <laughs> keep those negative effects away from everyone else. I mean this stuff looks a bit ugly. But that's why you can always put the glass in. You can still see it. That's fantastic. 14,000 RF per tick. And the best thing about it is once that crystal's burnt up I can put it back into the laser to use in order to make a stronger crystal so I put one crystal in here and I've got 200 points left so if I play smart and use things like nether stars and refiltering the um, repurifying the liquid afterwards one crystal is all you need so what I would probably do is get a couple of crystals anyway so you can Burn them all out, fill this up a little bit, and have one crystal being used while another's being made. And then once you've got the second one made, when that one burns out, swap it, put the old crystal into here, make the new one while that one's burning out. Because once you've got this process down to a team, you've got time in a bottle especially. It doesn't take long to make a new crystal and keep it topped up like that. And then that crystal itself I mean that will last quite a while just burning straight as it is but if you were to set up you know some automation there so you switch it off when it gets 
your tanks are full. That could last a long time. You might not need another crystal, given how quick they replenish. Unless you've got machines running day and night. That should be all you need. But, that is Deep Resonance. That's pretty much all I did during those two episodes that I cocked up the uh, audio on. So, yeah. Get your plates. Build your machine frames. Smelt some more of the resonant, resonating ore. Put it in a tank. Purify it to make your first crystal. Unless you just burn out a load of the ones that you find around you. And then laser it to increase its stats. Purify it again. Stick it in a crystallizer. Slap it on a energy collector. And you've got RF for days. So, oh god, that outfit is horrible. <laughs> That's better. So, again, sorry that I cocked up the audio on the video. I didn't notice until it was way too late. So this is going to be a supplementary, just to crash course everything that I went through in those two episodes. Um, <laughs> we're still getting the negative effects. Uh, because... Oh, we've still got radiation over here. That's the thing about the radiation. It will pass into neighbouring chunks. So because this is so high... I mean, this hovers around 40, which isn't too bad. But because this was so high, it's infected the neighbouring chunks. So, everybody, so even over here, we still feel it radiation from it. Yeah, that's why you've got to be careful with um, radiation. Yikes. But, all that being said, thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure. You guys take it steady. Everything's a good one. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.